Hi, we're the Giles family and today we're going to be cooking our Korean style fried chicken. So first, what you want to do is get some chilli, red pepper flakes and salt and add them into your bowl. You want all that flavour. Then you grab your chicken, put it in the bowl. We've got the legs with the skin on and we've also got the thighs with the skin on. And then what you want to do is make sure that it gets coated through that uh, marinade. Careful not to rub your eyes afterwards, it's a lot of chilli. <laughs> Once it's nice and coated, you want to cover that and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Next, we're going to move on to our hot sauce. So in a food processor, there's a couple of ingredients. We've got our Korean fermented pepper paste, some maple syrup, some hot sauce, some soya sauce, around about four garlic cloves, small amount of fish sauce, give it a nice salty flavour. Got some Chinese rice wine, then about half of the chilli flakes. Pop the lid on your food processor and give it a blitz. <laughs> Next time, remember to put the lid on your food processor because you'll end up like us, but that's the fun of it. Make mistakes in the kitchen and just keep going. Pop it in and now let's give it a real blitz. So once you've seen the chilli seeds and the garlic break up, you want to decanter it into two bowls, one for a little pouring sauce for later and the rest to coat your chicken. It's time to grab our chicken out of the fridge. It's been marinating for about 30 minutes. And in this bowl, I have tapioca starch, I've got corn flour and turmeric, and then if you remember the rest of the chilli flakes, you want to pop them in there too. And then we're going to coat our chicken for the frying. Now, you can use tongs or your hands, but I like to get a little bit dirty and use my hands. Nicole, we'll do this together because sister's cooking together. And so you wanna make sure that it gets a really good coating and you wanna tap the excess off, but as you can see, it doesn't really take that much. It kind of sticks to it and that's what gives it that crunchy flavor. Now onto the fun part. We're gonna fry our chicken. Nicole, you can do the honors on this one. Would you like to fry the chicken? Yes, all right, so we're going to do it one at a time. Just grab each piece of chicken and just gently place it in there. And you want to look for a golden colour. I usually say between 12 to 15 minutes, but until golden brown. Want to make sure that it's nice and golden brown, but also the chicken is cooked throughout. Make sure you just give it a shake. It smells really good. Keep it in there. Nicole likes to peek at it which makes it make a slower cooking time. So if you're cooking with Nicole, it usually takes about 15 minutes. <laughs> then you want to pop the lid on. Make sure you've got all your fingers intact at the end of it. So now we're going to take the lid off. Making sure and the chicken is nice and golden. Oh, yeah. look at that. Oh, beautiful. Lay it on the paper towel. And you can see that tapioca flour gives it a really nice, crispy outside. Once the oil kind of drains off it a little bit, but while it's still hot, put it in an extra bowl, and this is where we're going to coat it with that amazing hot sauce. Now we grabbed our hot sauce from earlier, and we're going to coat the chicken with it. And it's going to give it this beautiful red colour. So you want to toss it through there, making sure that all of it's coated evenly. Now that everything's evenly coated, it's time to plate it up. We've got some pickled daikon, really nice to serve with fried chicken. It gives it kind of an acidity. Just lay it nicely on there. Then you grab your chicken and pop that on the plate as well. Then you want to garnish with the green parts of some spring onion, just to give it a nice pop of colour again. Then we like to serve it with some mayonnaise and sprinkle it with some black sesame seeds. And there you have it, our Korean fried chicken with pickled daikon. You've also got your mayonnaise on the side. Don't forget the extra sauce. Oh yeah, don't forget the extra sauce. <laughs>